But not long after those nuptials, Laura disappeared. We saw her last walking into a dense fog on a dark pier. Later, one of her boots, soggy but still recognizable, washed up on shore. Well, today, Laura returns to General Hospital, and recently, I talked with Jeannie Francis, who plays the role of Laura, and Tony Geary, who plays the part of Luke. And I asked Jeannie what it was like for her to go back to the show after nearly two years away from it. Well, uh, actually, it's been a lot of fun. It's like, uh, sort of like old home week. And in some ways, it's like visiting my childhood because I grew up there. Tony, what is that you? Is it nice having your long-lost lady, your leading lady, back in your arms? We've had a really good time the last four weeks. It's been a lot of uh, humor, and I don't think I've laughed so hard in a long time. It's been pretty dry around there in terms of the humor without my old lady. <laughs> what do you think it is about those two characters, your two characters, that people respond to so strongly? I think that they're so much in love that uh, it's, it's the way everybody dreams that they will one day fall in love. Don't you agree? I don't know if I'd like to fall in love like these characters are in love. It's pretty obsessive, but it's a nice, warm feeling to play with. Can you tell us anything about how Luke is going to respond to Laura when she comes back and everyone thought she was dead? Uh, well, I think he's happy to see her. <laughs> It's, well, you know, um, um, it's pretty exciting stuff. I think we're doing some really, really classically romantic stuff uh, in the four weeks that Jeannie's with us, uh, five weeks that Jeannie's with us. And to kind of tip it that way is uh, not quite right, because we've all worked very hard, and the atmosphere on the set with the crew and the cast and everything has been very special. So uh, I kind of like to keep the mystery going. Is there any chance that Laura's going to be sticking around Port Charles any longer? No, not this no. time. Mm -mm. Not this time, Mom. Nope. Do you have any regrets at all about leaving the show? No, I really don't. After five years, I was exhausted, and it was time for me to go. It's, uh, it's wonderful to have the opportunity to come back for a little while. Now, Tony, I, you know, we do know that your contract is also coming up, I believe, next month. I mean, we hear rumors that you don't want to be Luke Spencer anymore. Uh, what's the story? I'm a pretty much a, an animal of instincts and uh, impulsive moves, and we've been negotiating for a long time. Uh, ABC and the show have been very generous in their offers. It's a matter now of my deciding if, uh, if, it's a, if it's for me personally, it would be the right move to go or stay, and I haven't come to that decision yet. They're, they're doing everything they can to keep you to stay, right? They offered Paraguay. I'm holding out for Brazil. <laughs> Let's say, if, if you were going to leave the show and you could write your own exit, the own, your script of how you would, your, your, what your demise would be, what would you do? What would you do? What would I do? Yeah. Well, I want to see Laura have a happy ending for once. So, uh... Just as long as it was a happy ending, I'd be pleased. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of them, of them sort of taking off together and uh, continuing the, the legacy of the romance. Off into the sunset. Well, yeah, you know, it's it's uh, been a very, almost like a gothic novel this romance, and so to not give it a truly romantic tie-up in the classical sense of romance, I think would be a cheat. And I think we're getting an opportunity to do that now that Jeannie's back. Oh, I can tell we're going to have to tune in tomorrow to see. Listen, it's been nice talking with you again. We're going to be watching for it, and thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.